There's a passion there, isn't there? There's a real deep-seated passion to do the best that you can. A decade ago, Hall Bicycles came to life. We celebrated this 10-year milestone by introducing two new additions, Omni and Somni. But that's just the beginning. For three lucky riders, an exclusive opportunity awaited. The chance to embark on an all-inclusive trip to our factory in the heart of Finland. towards the little Finnish uh, archipelago area which is inside a lake which is um, the second biggest lake in Finland. section dropped in how do you guys feel awesome fantastic so your expectations to finish trails uh, yeah great <laughs> fast so flowy far. rooty rocky yeah a little bit of water yeah it's full on <laughs> It was exceptionally clean, well laid out, well thought out. Yeah, it was uh, it was everything I'd hoped for. I think the the whole process was different than I expected, uh, and I guess that's been upgraded from previous models. But yeah, clean, um, or really. So the CNC is what I expected. I didn't think it would be so beautiful. I think watching the machine working on yeah. that piece of raw billet and and just developing a frame from it, it was extraordinary. The difference between, say, the first machined model and the current fourth generation of these machined models, how they're doing it differently, uh, and the efficiency they're, they're in is something I didn't expect. I think the, the initial moment of walking through the door and there being a Sony, two yeah, Voimers, definitely. and then there being a couple of others, and hung up and there's a guy doing the stickers, it was just, it was like a kid in a sweet shop moment. <laughs> and then the background, like with all of the parts, with the swing arms and so on. Like. Yeah. And seeing the machines be, um, excuse me, the bikes be colored in real time, how quickly that happens is, was, was cool to see. The meaning of life, I think, came through. Uh, the guy's thinking a million miles a minute, but we all know that. Um, he's 10 steps ahead, and his bike showed that as well. And like the, the topics that he is also thinking about was like when, when we first started talking, it was like completely nothing bike related. And this impressed me, like, like how much he dig into topics. This is what's like, yeah. Very intelligent yeah. guy. There's a passion there, isn't there? There's a real deep-seated passion to do the best that you can. 
the, there were some surprising aspects, the way that they, the, the sort of the sequencing and the bonding and then the the, the remachining and the, the, there was... The order think, of it yeah, was unexpected. I think yeah. if I'd have thought about it deep and hard, mm -hmm. I, I, I'd have got somewhere close, but actually seeing it at cold, it was, it was quite a wow moment. Yeah, and the sheer amount of recycling that goes on uh, it's like was, was astounding. 96% of, of the billet is like waste. And yeah. yeah. Only 4% is going to the baggers. Impressive. Carbon fibre seems to be the industry standard and carbon fibre is just not an environment friendly product. It's it's just waste mm. and you can't recycle it. So much epoxy is wasted in it. Whereas these things can be completely recycled. Um, having ridden the bikes for five years now, I never thought I'd actually get out here to see where they're made. Uh, and just seeing the, the culture and being in Finland actually helps to encapsulate the whole yeah. whole brand and whole experience. It's it's really brought it full circle. Yeah, for me it's like the the first time on the on the Voima and also with like a 190, 190, and when we went to this downhill, it was like feeling with like a like a really downhill bike, and so it's so comfortable, it's incredible. And then on the other hand, we just climbed pretty steep stuff with the same bike with this a lot of amount of travel. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, guys, uh. Riding uh, uh, Sonny today on the trails. Yes. Uh, how did you find riding in Finland? So it was great. Riding in Finland was great. Um, very different to what we used to. Used to routes, um, probably bigger drops, but it's so technical, rooty, rocky, um, good, really good, really fun. Lots of quick bursts. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Sonny, do you want me to talk about the Sonny a bit? Oh, go for it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've got a Voima. Had the Voima for 18 months, and um, the Voima is great. It smashes through straight line speed, comfortable. The the, the Sony felt much more lively and active, um, quicker, sort of edge to edge, which I'd say snowboarding. But you know, um, uh, sidewall to sidewall felt really, really uh, positive, um, really enjoyable. From the moment getting on it and riding it out of the car park, it just felt different. And you had to go on it too, didn't you? Yeah, it was like it was only only a small ride um, yeah. and not not in the on the trails. But yeah, it's pretty different. And Eric, you've never been on an e-bike before until today. No, uh, first time. Yeah. Yeah. How was it? I mean, when you can combine these American quads with that kind of finished power, <laughs> um, it, it was a lot to handle. Um, but uh, very fun. Uh, I, in fact, I would never say this until today, but. I might even buy one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> but you know that would turn my 40 mile rides into 60 mile rides, which is double you know, better for me. So mm -hmm. throw a battery in the backpack and good to go. Loved yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, guys, let's go get some food and enjoy some beers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.